Hey, what's up guys? It is DJ. Today we have got some new and updated mods finally released for FarmSim 22. In total, 34 mods dropped. All platforms got 13 new and 12 updates. Xbox Series, PS5, PC, and Mac players got one update. And PC and Mac players got six new and two updates. Of course, we'll look at all of the new mods and customization. And of course, we will review every mod that got an update. Starting off, we've got new ones for all platforms. The Husqvarna TS-146X. Okay. Oh, it's a riding lawnmower. This thing is super cool. We've got some really nice customization on here as well. So 35 horsepower, power shift transmission, 26 liters of fuel, 15 miles an hour, 1.9 tons, 1.4 meter working with it, 12 miles an hour. Did you catch all that? We're <laughs> Michelin tires. We've got BKT, Nokian, and Rudder Stein. We also have the trailer Borg in there as well. I like BKT. Bank model. I'm not really sure what bank model means. It's the seats, what it is. You can change up that back piece right there. The bumper, you can throw one of those on the front if you're like me and run into stuff. We can also change this all kinds of different colors. So you can change up the main color and the design, which is going to be the deck at the bottom. Now, I think this does look a little bit better in uh, black or maybe that color right there. Yeah, yeah, it looks pretty good. And then we got rim colors as well, which is kind of nice. I didn't know we were going to be getting all of these color options. Pretty sweet. And then we've got a bagger. This is optional. You don't have to use it if you don't want to. Um, it, it has all the same specs, so don't really worry about horsepower requirement. It just works, okay? 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, or 4,000 liters, and it will pick up all of your normal, uh, like, forge wagon stuff, but uh, really, you're just going to be picking up grass with this. Since I've already got one, let's take a look at this thing, and I want you guys to hear this. It sounds super good. Now, one thing to note, you will need to turn on the bagger as well. So uh, you will need to lower this down. You will need to turn it on. Then you will need to turn on the bagger too. So let's see what happens whenever we mow, but we don't turn that bagger on. We'll drop down, turn on the mower, get to mowing, and it just drops a swath behind us. Actually, quite a bit of a swath, but we can turn that bagger on. Boom, just like so. And of course, it's not picking up anything. Huh. Well, I've loaded back in, and I do want to give a shouty outy to uh, Mr. Tony Miff over on Twitch. Uh, I don't know what the heck happened, but as you can see, uh, this is working. It's working just fine. I'm picking up all my grass, doing my thing. It wasn't working before, and now that I've exited the game and going back in, it works. Next up, we have the International 1255 1455XL. This is not to be confused with the 1255, uh, 1455, 1255. Yeah, don't don't let it be confusing. <laughs> Still here. This one from Sully, 125 horsepower. We got a manual transmission in there, as you would expect. 200 liters of fuel, 24 miles an hour, it weighs 7.3 tons. Engine options, we have that 125 horsepower, but we can go to a 145 and back and forth between those, both the 1986 edition. With brands, we have Trelleborg, BKT, Michelin, Midas, Continental, Vertestein, and Nokia tires. We've got a little bit of different stuff through all of those. Air filters, we have filter number two in standard. Exhaust, we have a straight, straight pipe bent. We also have the original air horns, yes or no. We will test those. De details, we've got uh, stuff inside. Is that, a, uh, is that a small trees? A little tree? There you go. Yeah, we'll keep that on. Beacon, we have no beacon. We could do a light bar, which is like an LED bar. We've also got regular beacons or both of those. That's pretty cool. We've even got CB aerials on there. Now, I like that. I'm not a big fan of antennas, but I do like that. Attachment, we have a front weight. We have a weight carrier. We have a front link and all of that. I like that front weight. looks better, I think. Front loader attachment, we have the Hauer, Stroll, or no. Main color, we have a bunch of red, so you can find the one that works best for you. We have regular red, default, restored, dark, and faded. Let's go with restored. Design color. Let's change this to orange. Oh, that's going to be our antennas on the top. Okay. Uh, back to black those go. And then front linkage. We don't have front link on there right now, but we could change that color, which is cool. And the rim colors. We've got the tan, gray, and black, plus a license plate option. Let's load it up. Sounds pretty good. Sounds really good. Let's check that air horn. Boo. It's got a meat meat. Lame. Uh, interior looks awesome. Everything works. The sounds actually sound super duper good. It doesn't have like the mega pickup you would expect. I got a mod installed that gives everything like twice as much horsepower on the back end, but 
yeah, this this even doesn't really affect that too much. This is super cool. If you're using some older equipment, some old iron stuff, yo, go get this right now. Next is going to be our New Holland T6000 and T7000 all in the same mod pack. Let's start with the 6000, 178 horsepower, power shift transmission, 470 liters of fuel, 27 miles an hour, weighs 11.7 tons. We've also got a... Uh, a cable rating of 1.6 tons. We'll take a look at that for sure. Engines we could bump from 178 to 228, 193 to 243, 201 to 251, and back down again. We're brands. We have Continental, Michelin, Trelleborg, Vredestan, and back into Continental again. Uh, we do have some very good looking tire options in here, including some stuff that we don't normally get to see. So definitely don't sleep on this. Exhaust and front grille. We have a standard option. We have the chrome exhaust, direct exhaust, standard and chrome a chrome exhaust with the chrome front grill direct exhaust with the chrome front grill and back to nothing radio and alert stickers we have the radio itself on the inside alert stickers which give us a uh a little logo on the very front there both of those are none rear weights we have no we have 160, 320, 480, 640, or nada again. So that's kind of cool. The wheel weights are built in like that. Fenders, we have an extended fender on the very back, extended small or just small. And then we've got same things, but front on there as well. Yeah, those kind of look weird after all of that. Window film, we have a standard. We have a smoky one, two, three, and back in reverse gear. Beep, yes or no. Some people don't like it, so you can turn it off. Signs, we have EU, US, reflective triangle on the back. Uh, EU with reflective triangle, US with reflective triangle, or nothing. Auxiliary light and beacon setup. So we've got some AUGS headlights, uh, left beacon, right beacon, both beacons, and then headlights with those beacon options back to standard. Attachments, we have US... And uh, zero, is this gonna be on the front? Oh uh, yeah, it is on the front right there. So we've got the US, we have zero US, uh, 540, 900, and then EU. So we've got different setups through there for your attachment. A new Holland 372 receiver. We've got yes or no front loader options. Quickie, power or nada. Numbers, you can throw one through number nine on there. Main color, this is kind of neat. So we have the polished blue, we have the black. We have the blue power, baby. And then we've got every other color under the sun. So you've got all of those if you wish. We also have the exact same thing going on for rim colors. So you could choose what you like. Now, I'm going to assume that this one's the same. We'll find out. Uh, 215 horsepower, 255, 234, 283, 241, 291. And back in again. Wheel brands all the same. Wheel setups, I'm sure. Exhaust, radio, rear weights, fenders, rear fem. Yeah, these are all exactly the same. So, very cool. Hey, at least the match. Next is a Forge Harvester. This is the Lizard FTN 1000. Requires 65 horsepower. It's got a one meter working width or one row of corn. You might be able to get two if you get real lucky. It's six miles per hour max speed. Main color on here, we have the red, we've got black, and we've got green. So a little bit of case or international. Um, black you would use really with anything. And then green, of course, you've got your John Deere, maybe Fent as well. Uh, this is a very cool piece piece of kit uh, we do have the piece so uh, let's see exactly where this hooks up so your tractor is going to hook up to this part on the front and then you've got a trailer hitch with pto pass through here on the back side so just kind of taking a look at this real quick i would like to show you guys because sometimes things like this are a little bit confusing like hey how do i use that oh, nice and easy just hook up there make sure your wheels aren't too wild and crazy you don't want to get too massive wheel and then you hook up your trailer like that. And then we can control this. You drop it down, open up the rear. And now wherever you go, this will blow into your trailer. And now you got a little forge harvester. Very cool. Next, we got a liquid tanker. This is the Lizard K6000. It holds quite a few things. As you can see down here, we've got our oils, which is kind of nice. Uh, we've also got fuel, water, milk, grape juice, um, I can't remember what that is. Uh, we've also got DEF, sorry, and Digestate. So a lot of stuff kind of going on with this. You can carry it all in 6,000 liters of it. 1.6 tons, 55 horsepower required. Does it have an eight meter working with at seven miles an hour? Leading me to believe that this is a slurry or digestate spreader as well. Very cool. Next is a mulcher. This is the Lizard RM180. It's a 40 horsepower required, 1.8 meters at seven miles per hour. We also have attachment type of center, left, and right. 
right? So let's say you're wanting to mow a certain way, I say mow mulch a certain way. Uh, well, you can easily do that, whether you want to do directly behind or maybe off to the side. You can also utilize some type of like multi-connector and run a few of these together if you really want to. Um, but of course, that's in the game, not quite realistic, but nonetheless, super cool. Peter J. Monning's finally released their Autotrip Silage trailer. This holds 5,800 liters of all of your forage crops, you can see down there. It also includes... Um, Sugar cane, so that's kind of nice. Will Brands, we have Michelin, Trollopark, BKT, and back in. Uh, do we have any stuff? So BKT, we could change that a little bit. And then Top Mesh, we've got that as well. Doesn't increase our capacity any, but it is kind of nice to see. This should work with very small trailers as well. So that makes things nice and easy. And of course, if you want to use the uh, aforementioned silage uh, bit that we showed off a few months ago, you can do that right here. This will work perfect. Next is the trailer with canopy. This, well, has a canopy or not, and is a trailer. Looks very good at that. Uh, cover color, uh, you could change that up between gray and, well, they say blue, but that's not blue in any word. Uh, yeah, it's kind of neat. Uh, it's probably got straps. I don't know. We should probably find that out, huh? We'll just go with a little Landini Rex right here. This should be more than enough to test everything that we need to on this little trailer, but should work perfectly, especially if you guys are doing anything else. Now, we've got help windows for unfold trailer, which is going to drop it back and drop that back part. That's kind of cool. We also have lower trailer, which I don't, uh, I don't know if that does anything, but we also have lift trailer. Actually, I'm curious, what if it's here and I go to lift it? I'm not doing anything on my end, so that's fine. Um, we do have a bit that will just open the front part, which is kind of cool. And we can open just the back part. Yo, did that just disappear? That just disappears. All right, it's pretty cool, it's pretty cool. You win, you win trailer. Next up, we got the sugarcane transport. And these, uh, they look like they're just a complete convert from Farming Simulator 17 or Farm Sim 19. However, they do say they've added a dump pipe function for easy unloading. Uh, when activating this function, the trailers will unload by button at the gate, different from the original that needs to be activated by hydraulic controls. So that's kind of cool. So you can actually use this as a normal trailer, which is nice. We got the Massey Ferguson, um, this uh, 28,000 liter capacity. Will Brands, we have Trelleborg, Michelin, BKT, Bredestein, and back in again, we do standard wide tires, and we could change up the color of those rims, which is cool. Then we have the TT. This Trelleborg Michelin BKT Vedistan and back in again. Standard white tires, main color. Ooh, we got the green. I like that. Design color, we could change that up a little bit too if we want. And then rim colors, of course, are rim colors. 20,000 liters on this. We got that rear hitch too. And uh, yeah, whenever you get to a dump, just click the button and it'll be good to go. Nice and easy. I always say you can't have a mod video without placeable. So here we go. The old pig sty for VX mapping. This includes three buildings. It's not just one. And they're all kind of useful, which is pretty cool. So pigsty, it only holds 60 pigs, so just be aware it ain't a lot. So don't don't be uh don't be expecting anything too wild and crazy, but still looks very nice. Everything's been done super duper well. And if you're on PC, you could just add a couple zeros to the end of that and you'll be good to go. Then we have the manure heap. Now they do say that the manure heap was planned to be placed next to the pigsty for more aesthetic. A trigger is present at the levels of the barrels to make the wall disappear. So we go over here, and there you go. So you can actually place this right up to the edge right here, and that should line up perfectly. As a matter of fact, why don't we do that now? Because what I didn't do was that. So there we go, we'll take that. Then we will go into our silos. We will find our manure heap right here, and then we will do our best. I mean, my absolute best to get this placed perfectly. Now what I'm gonna need is uh, for you guys to judge me super duper hard whenever I'm not able to get this to work correctly. Hang on, we gotta get it about right in here and then I gotta use my mouse nice and easy. I feel like that's not good, but I'm gonna put it down. <laughs> and now we come over here, turn that off. I mean, it's there and it's not clipping through the wall. Or is it? Is that clipping through the wall? No? Huh. Yeah, that, that looks like it's supposed to be there. Super cool. And then we have the straw shed. Not something that I was expecting to see here. This one, 450 bales. So if you uh, you want to throw some bales in there, you're good to go. Yeah, this is a cool pack. Next is our potato haul large. And I'm pretty sure I placed it the wrong way. Sure did. 
Let's turn on some lights as well. Man, HDR is really cutting in over here, isn't it? Let's turn it around. There, oh, please. Please. Yeah. So make sure you go over to where the trigger is. Um, yeah, definitely dark in here. Anyway, big old potato haul, which is kind of cool. I like this little catty corner right here in the very back end. And boy, oh boy, does this look super duper good. Um, the main hall, uh, 60 meters by 45 meters by 12 meters, which is pretty insane. It also cost you $416,000. So be ready for that as well. Uh, it is mahusive. Next to last new ones for all platforms going to be the manure heap packs. We have four of these total, um, and they do say they are different pallets or different plates with each texture. Capacity is going to be 4 million liters, uh, for each one of these. So, uh, there you go. Let's see from above. We've got a maybe a concrete texture, more of a lighter concrete texture, a you know, medium concrete texture, and a and an, and another one. Yeah. And your last new one for all platforms is the Lizard Super Fast Charging Station. It's super fast charging for electric vehicles, which is very very cool. Loading speed is ten times what you get in the base game. So if you're using a base game one and you want to throw one of these down go for it. There's also a version of this that is the Tesla branded version that's new today for PC and Mac. All right, jumping over to some updates for all platforms. We have the JCB 220X Excavator version 1.002. Improved the bucket pickup, fixed the fill volume shader for the buckets on consoles, improved the vehicle physics, improved the ground clearance, and added an option for easy arm controls. These are a little bit different than the change log we had this morning, so make sure you guys check this out. We've also got an update to one of my favorite mods in Mod Hub. This this is the ultimate mowing and bailing pack for Mac Trucker 921. Version 1102, they added the ability to make nine X capacity bales to all of their balers and added many more color choices. We've also got an update to the Fiat 19038 pack, version 1101. Fix the attached joint, improve the AI settings, and minor fix. How's about an update to what I think may be a little bit of an underrated mod, the McCormick X7 short wheelbase. This is version 1.1, small bugs have been fixed, new color options added, engine fan animation or automation animation has been added front fenders are removable now and opening and closing sounds have been added to the animated parts throwing it back with the zader 6277 45 verse 12 now i'm kidding 1.2 physical changes brake force speed shifting and main or mods poor for uh interactive control from vertex design one mod that we pushed a lot when it first came out was the jantanker pack from Surfertex antique modding well that has been updated today to version number two they've added the 12,000 and the 15,000 models so since we've got some new ones maybe we should take a look at them so the original was at 10,500 but now we have the 12 and the 15 so we'll take a look at the 12 first 12,000 liter capacity 2.5 tons 75 horsepower configuration we got that 12 we could also bump that up to 15.5 if we really want to with a couple different sets of wooden beams at the top wheel brands we have lizard we have rice wheels one two vkt continental and back in again we can change a few of those up i am curious do we have something wild and crazy give me something wild and crazy nah just pretty normal stuff through there that's all right sometimes normal's okay box model we have default we've got the inox and then decals we can change a few of those up on the front and the sides accessories we've got a, a rod <laughs> or a shovel cover tarp yes and no main color we could change that up we have some custom gen colors but we have all the base game colors as well the tarp cover you could change that up too don't have that installed but now we do and then we have the tarpaulin border color if you could change that if you want to then pretty much we have exactly the same thing here we could do 15 or 18 thousand liters and then everything else is exactly the same and this update to the keller mend in india <clears throat> pack version 2 3d oscillation of the roller so the 450 500 600 a transport box suitable for transporting seeds fertilizer and bab and bags and the sheath from andy modding version 1.1 the sheath is now on the ground after a exiting or buying it and no longer hovers in the air. Next, the Lizard Homemade Roller got updated to version 1.001. Fix the mod loading on servers. 2600 kg weight version 2. New logos have been added for Case, JCB, Massey Ferguson, and Steyer. Next to last, Large Old Barn version number 2. 3D modification. They've enlarged the doors and the addition of an external outlet for milk. Trigger of displaced milk, whatever that means. Addition a marker to indicate the openings of the nets and the roof window. That is great to know. 
correction of the loading points for AI, modification of the number of cows, changes in quantities, change the descriptions to raise and lower the nets and roof window, and other minor fixes. Taking a look at that, uh, well, it's right there in front of us. It holds 216 cows. Uh, price going to be $400,500, 250 bucks per day. Capacity for milk, 125 or 120,000. Straws, 100,000. Slurries, 200,000. And manure is 100,000. It's also got an integrated manure heap, so you don't have to do anything. Very cool. And last Lastly, we have an update to Barn with Cow Shed version 101, added version without the shed. So it's just uh, barn or, or, or just cow shed. Uh, I think it's just cow shed. As I mentioned, we do have one mod update that is a little bit different. Western Australia from Farmer Bob. This update is for PC, Mac, PlayStation 5, and Xbox Series, whether that be your Series X or your Series S. And it's version 1.2. Remove the unused terrain textures in the editor and resize the weight files to comply with version 110.1. Jumping over to some new ones for PC and Mac players. And unfortunately, uh, there's a lot of stuff that I can't pronounce in this setup. So... We're just going to put some titles around so you guys can check it out. Uh, uh, Psychovice? It's, it's a new map for PC and Mac players today. A uh, little bit laggy. Uh, my computer's fine, but OBS is having a little bit of trouble with it. I've got some new settings, so maybe that's it. The rest of the video has been fine. Who knows? We've got a village. We've got 146 fields, including four meadows, four design spots for building your farms, two forestry areas, altered crop textures, multi-terrain. Ah, ah, the... the alter crop textures that's what's getting me a uh, polish sewing terms we also have road traffic polish license plates compressed silage pit and new terrain painting which is kind of neat uh i, I kind of want to look at that to be honest with you guys uh painting Ooh, yeah this is definitely a little bit different all right very very cool yeah i like those little textures so um very neat very cool map uh yeah it really this, this is kind of a map that is hey leave me alone i'm farming this is kind of that map. So we have a lot of your stuff right through here in the little town. There's not really too much, a very, very small area, but you've got the rest of the farm or the rest of the map to, to farm on. You can plow your fields up to plow them and, and combine them, do everything that you need to do. The map border does leave some bits to be desired, but you know what, whatever, throw some trees up there. You'll be just fine, especially with this being PC and Mac only. But yeah, like this is, this is the, the busiest part of the map right here that's it so it is definitely a leave me alone i'm farming map i think it's kind of cool and i think a lot of people can use the extra room where there's just nothing it's just fields to kind of make this your own and uh show off your creativity of building a farm or maybe putting an animal area together Kind of neat. I like the uh, I like the concept. Leave me alone. I'm farming. Next, we have another map for PC and Mac players. Energy Park. This is run in a popular Bavarian region. Whatever that means. We had 78 fields, 103 viable plots of land, five viable courtyards. We got the BGA. Uh, we have machine dealer, cattle dealer, four points of sale, precision farming. They do say note: farmland four and five are assigned to farm number one and can only be played error free in the multiplayer game. Farmland four manure storage and farmland five biogas. So. It's, it's up there. Uh, might be better to just pop in here in multiplayer and single player and be done with it and then buy it and be done with it. And then you could probably load it back up and be okay. Uh, it does seem a little bit bare. There's not really a lot of going on. Uh, it's a very small map as well. Can't buy the outside. It is locked as well. So if I'm flying high, I'm okay. But if I'm like all the way down here, I got it to about right here and it stops. But I can fly over the uh, invisible border. So can we see the border? Yeah, you can see the border's really not that high, so it kind of makes things a little easier, but eh, it is, what it is what it is. Nonetheless, there you go. Uh, that is Energy Park. Oh, and there's six required mods. Yay. Next, another one I can't pronounce. Uh, Weisskip? Maybe? I don't know. This is a leveler pack. They said it's in winter equipment. Uh, we've got quite a few different ones through here. So we have two three meters, which to me look almost identical, but I think one's just a little bit bigger than three meters. Yeah, maybe just a little bit. Then we've got one that's a little bit bigger, still says three meters, but I think it's a little bit bigger, 3.5, but it still says three and a half and then 3.8. So three, three meters, a three, five and a three, eight. Uh, all of these levelers, they hook up to the back of your tractor and you can scrape away, lean them left, lean them right, and then tilt them, you'll be good to go. Next up, another one I don't know how to pronounce up at the top left-hand corner, a la something, Nortex Sand Spreaders is what I've been calling it. 
This is not sand at all. These are salt spreaders. Uh, front loader, wheel loader, telehandler, skid steer, and back in. No three point, funny enough. Uh, we do have a cover on here if you guys want to use that as well. Uh, 1,000 liter capacity, 2.1 meter working with. 37 miles an hour so you could fly with it and then we have another version here uh standard this is a three point actually did i miss standard on here nope just ain't there uh so we've got same setup here but we also have the three point uh cover yes and no 1500 liter capacity this time 2.1 meters 37 miles an hour so still the same looks like it's going to be dropping instead of flinging it out like we're used to just kind of Boop, drops. As I mentioned, we do have a Tesla super fast charging station and farming simulator now. Uh, loading speed on this one, 10 times again what the base model does. And I've just kind of placed it down on here on the energy map. And your last new one today for PC and Mac players is the animal food calculator. This shows the estimated few, few, feud, feud, animal fuel. <laughs> food usage per pen for one day and one year. The daily estimate respects the days per month that you currently use, and the yearly estimate includes the fact that animals will eat more when they grow up. It does support Maze Plus, an enhanced animal system, which is incredible, and they say, have fun feeding. It does have a changelog here, uh, but this is a brand new mod to mod up, so I'm guessing that's third party updates. We'll go over them anyway. Uh, we had version 1001, which was improved compatibility with enhanced animal system. Uh, lactation cycles are now included when calculating uh, food amounts, and one year amount is still just a good approximation since veterinary reproduction could fail so there you guys go very cool mod and something that's going to be super super useful especially when using the enhanced animal system lastly today let's talk about some updates for pc and mac players first one's the ivyco 190 38 pack for pepe 978 version 1101 fix the attached joint improve the ai settings and minor fixes this may seem kind of familiar to you like we just talked about a mod that was just like this because it's the same as the Fiat. And lastly, an update to Indoor Cam First, version 2.001, third camera. I uh, don't know what that word is. A problem has been fixed. Uh, you can find it on uh, GitHub and update at the mod icon. A really weird changelog. Well, guys, that is it for today. I know we didn't talk about the new DLC, but I feel like we've talked about that enough. And judging by the poll yesterday, half of you guys aren't even going to be getting it. So I'm not going to really worry about Oxbow anymore here. If you haven't checked it out, go do it. Otherwise, just hope you enjoy the video. Drop a like, get subscribed, join the GoHand fam, do the notification dance. That way you never miss daily farm scene videos here on the channel. All being said, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later.